Elk, deer, and moose shed their antlers in the early spring as their bodies recover from winter. What they leave behind is treasure for a certain kind of hunter, a shed hunter. Ashley Delanis and her family scout for wildlife over the winter. Let's go find some sheds. Let's go. So that come spring, Sweet. they have a pretty good idea where to look for sheds. It's a perfect day to be out shed hunting. You can see everything. There's you know, not a lot of grass that has grown in to cover those potential antlers that we would have otherwise missed. <laughs> but it's not all fun and games. Ashley is working. She sees promise in the discarded crowns. I first check for the, you know, the strength of it, whether or not it's been out in the weather for too long and it's brittle and breaking, or if it's a fresh brown that just dropped. Shed hunting came first as a hobby, but now it's a passion, and finding the perfect antler for her work is a mission. You guys, come here. Oh, it's a big one. Nice Dang. and brown. It's like a Jackson Hole find, huh? This little hook thing on it. Yeah. That's a cool one. Can't get much better than this. Antler hunting is popular in areas where people normally hunt for deer, elk, and moose. You kind of got to think like a hunter. You know, you got to know where the deer have been, especially, obviously, the bucks. That's what we're out here for is their antlers. I want to check out this shed over here. It might be worth something we should hike over to. We are pretty notorious for spotting a antler a couple, three, four ridge lines away. All right. You two boys go get it. Her husband Blake and son Trip enjoy the <laughs> adventure of shed hunting as much as Ashley. Woohoo! We'll hike to wherever we need to um, to pick up that shed. Yeah, I think. Sweet. Sweet. This is beautiful. What's Look at that. Thing? We love coming out here and just getting lost in the woods. Looking like creatures from another planet, the shed hunters head home with their trophies strapped to their backs. I found a beautiful six point brown elk shed. That was the highlight of the entire day for me. That's awesome. Which one we should do. Ashley caught the creative bug from her mother, an artist herself. Even her house reflects a love of expression. As a young mother, she began to pursue an art career in earnest. After enrolling in art classes at Idaho State University, she discovered she could support herself through school by selling her art. Ten years later, Mountain Girl's portfolio is varied and includes work in stained glass, silk art, and clay. Her first business profits came from creative clay light switches. They sold so well locally she was able to make a living. Her most recent success is with an Idaho-inspired piece. With the Idaho pieces I make, there's two different variations. There's a stained glass kind, and then there's a fused glass kind. With the fused glass, I do the same process of cutting out the shape of Idaho, and then I overlay imagery, whether that's a hand-cut moose or a pine tree, and then I incorporate some frit work, and then I fire that in a kiln for an entire day. The stained glass Idaho's I use with stained glass and I use copper foil and solder and I solder images onto those designs. Oh, look at this. Working with antlers is the newest okay. endeavor. But I think I like how this one sits. It doesn't roll. She draws on her love of the outdoors for inspiration. 
I can't really map out a plan when it comes to building an antler piece. I can have an idea maybe with colors or a focal point, whether that be a hiker or a moose, but the end piece is always a surprise even to me. Elk antlers, for me, symbolizes stamina, community, and strength. If you look at just how the elk have to live and what they have to do just to survive. Ashley has a unique appreciation for elk country. Her own personal journey includes summiting seven of the nine 12,000 foot peaks in Idaho. Known as the Twelvers to those who climb mountains for sport, most of these peaks reside in the Lost River Range, in the center of the state. She climbs with her father, brother, and husband. As any mountain climber knows, it takes a certain determination and motivation to summit tall peaks, not to mention physical stamina. It's the same force that drives Ashley to compete in the world of art. When I conquer a big mountain, like one of the Twelvers, it definitely elevates me to this way of thinking that I can conquer anything. I can make something big and beautiful. I can do something challenging and new and different. And with that mindset and ambition, Mountain Girl will undoubtedly continue to climb to new heights. The Lost River Range is very extremely close to my heart, and this piece was completely inspired by it. And this particular imagery is kind of a representation of the three men that I've been hiking and climbing these mountains with. So it's my view and interpretation of me seeing them and being my rock and support as we climb these extremely challenging peaks.